Even for a country like ours, well familiar with drought, the dry spell right now in Queensland and New South Wales is one of the worst in our history. The sentiment has changed over the last six weeks. There is some uh, worry, I guess you would say. This was a primary producer drought. Now we're calling it a whole of community crisis. The knock-on effect of this dry time is quite alarming. My name's Cameron Beard. Uh, we are currently at uh, Maryvale in uh, central west New South Wales. Uh, this farm's a small mixed uh, farming business. Our challenges here at the moment are mainly feed based, just keeping the stock in good order, um, keeping the cash flow rolling. Oh, I think this one has a different dynamic because it's a lot closer to the coast and therefore it's, it impacts a lot more people than we would have previously had back in the 60s or the, you know, the 80s or the 90s when we had those big droughts. I think the farming community are getting on with it. They're keeping quite active and planning for the future. You've also then got um, a big business community that rely on that rural community. We've got small towns um, where farmers go and spend their money and at the moment they're probably not spending that. When you lose your winter crop this year, you actually have to replace that 18 month cash cycle because really they're not going to get income now to um, December, January, the end of 2019. So that's impacting things like machinery dealers. For example, in parks in Western New South Wales, this time of the year they would have already um, sold close to a hundred units, uh, they've sold five. So therefore, there's a huge knock-on impact. And a lot of the farmers who are saying, I don't want charity, I just want someone to spend money in town so our small businesses survive. So the project that I put forward for the Rural Women's Award is, how do we help people run successful businesses at home? And more importantly, how do we help that person who is just on the boundary of starting and that's why this is so relevant to the drought right now is how many other people are sitting at home on the farm thinking I could provide a second income here. Let's hope it rains soon and, and all the forecasts are wrong and, and we're you know talking about something that never happened but at the moment you know we need to be planned and we need to make sure we're supporting them. The good thing about farming is that they are so resilient and therefore they learn from those experiences. So yes, out of every experience such as we're working through now, comes another layer of resilience to set the business up to be stronger for the future and future generations. Well, my strategy was to, uh, to build this feedlot behind us so that we could lock our stock up, get them off the, off the country and um, give it a chance to get away when it does rain. Um, and also allows us to control what goes into them and uh, gives us an opportunity to be selling stock that are, that are saleable and that somebody wants to buy. And as we said, it's not just about the farmer, it's also about the rural towns and the regional centres and the businesses and it's also the mum and dads, so the wage earners that have mortgages um, and to make sure that they can continue to do what they need to do.